in one. Whoa, what a bod. What a chassis. What a jerk. Cool it, Ellen. I'm using this mirror to check out the chicks in the hallway. Not to be too obvious. Too obvious? I'd start by mopping up that puddle of drool at your feet. <laughs> Ooh la la. Michelle, do you like he? I like he. How much he? Well, actually, I got lucky in the stock market and made a few extra dollars. Really? Good for you. So, do you think it'll get Robert's attention? Hey, the French have a saying, son cœur, dans ton rat, comment ça, dans son tête. Oh, that's beautiful. What does it mean? It means his heart will dance like a headless turkey. <laughs> you know, it loses a little in the translation. This is a five, six and a half. Pair of eights. <laughs> Whoa! An eleven! Who is that? Somebody new. Put your hormones on hold. That's Miss Dixon, dummy. Miss Dixon? Oh, I never knew how hot she could look. I could look that hot if I wanted to. You could look that hot if you were burned at a stake. Come on, baby. Light my fire. <laughs> Oh, nice outfit. You look great. Oh, this whole thing. Just a little something I threw together at the last minute. Some throw. Uh, Robert, uh, we're learning about the human body in my art class today, and I was wondering if you'd give me a hand. Sorry, I'll be needing my hand today. <laughs> I meant modeling. Modeling? <laughs> me? I don't think so. Oh, come on. You'll be wearing a sheet. A toga. You will look like a Roman god. Carol, they don't make sheets, togas, or gods this big. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Miss Dixon. Yes, Mark. You look wonderful. Well, thank you, Mark. You look pretty cute yourself. I, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with my dad, mostly because I was eavesdropping. It's not nice to eavesdrop. I know. But what about me? Well, you're no exception. No, no, look. What do you think? Well, I'm not sure. It's either moose antlers or a telephone pole in the desert. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm offering to be your model in art class. You? <laughs> well, okay, I guess beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful and a sense of humor. What a combination. You don't have to flatter me, Mark. You've got the job. <laughs> uh, by the way, what will I be wearing under my toga? <laughs> Can you believe it? Mark is our life model. Oh, couldn't you just die? Yes, but right now I just settled for keeping my lunch down. <laughs> Ellen, today I am a woman. This is my first nude man. This is not popcorn night at Chippendales. You're right. I better cool down. I'm going to set off the sprinklers. <laughs> Okay, class. Today we begin our study of the human form. So let's start by introducing our model. He's one of the young gentlemen from school, and he was kind enough to volunteer his services. Mark, you ready for us? The question is, are you ready for me? <laughs> I'll uh, see the ladies are issued smelling salts. <laughs> Come on out, Mark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. How's it going? Just great. He hasn't moved a muscle. Well, he's an expert. You think this is still that? You should see what he's like when he's at home when I ask him to clean his room up. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity, Miss Dixon. Oh, thank you, Mark. You were wonderful. I owe you one. You do? Sure, 
Sure, you just name it. I'll have to give that a bit of thought. Mark. Yes? I hope I didn't make you pose too long. I think you've developed a twitch. Uh, no, I, I just got something caught in my mind. My eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, this used to be a closet before it came a switchboard for dial a date. I have to phone you back, Brad. What is that all about? Can I talk to you for a minute? In private? Do we have to get into the closet or can we use the kitchen? The kitchen's fine. Hi, honey. Hi, Daddy. Yeah. Beat it, Ellen. Dad and I have to talk. Mark. Sorry. Please beat it, Ellen. Why? Are you afraid I'll overhear something? As a matter of fact, yes. We're going to be talking about women today. Something...